Hey everyone, I'm back with another review and this time it's the second version of the Procreate keypad. I want to thank Aog Tai for actually sending me the second version to review. Now, if you remember, I re reviewed the original Procreate keypad by Aog Tai, and it was this version. And it's you see now, it's very flat. And when it came out, it was a very big deal because not many companies or any at all were making keypads solely for Procreate. Till this day, I still use that same keypad. And if you remember, I had some pros and cons to this keypad but now the company's has actually addressed some of my issues from their original version the original design was very flat it didn't have any ergonomics to it at all so my wrist ended up hurting from long-term use but now with this new design you know what let's just go and show you so right off the bat when you receive the new keypad you're gonna notice that it's a new packaging design it has more ergonomics to it so it has a little bit more of a slant so your wrists aren't hurting after long-term use Another thing you'll notice is that the charging port position has changed. They're no lo longer hiding it like in the original design. It's now exposed on the top of the keypad. I actually like that they hid the charging port in the original design just to keep it clean from any dust or dirt coming in. But it's not really a deal breaker for me. Mostly everything now has an exposed charging port. I do really like the new design. However, I just feel like it's a bit heavy on the top end of it. It gives it more of a heavier feel to it than the original. It was easy to package away. And I feel like now when you put it in, in your backpack, it's very portable still. But now you just got this big chunk hanging somewhere, you know? I'm almost curious why they didn't just get like the usual flaps on the back of keyboards to give it that extra height. And that way it also keeps the flat design that's easier to package away into your backpack or your bag. But if you're someone that's just going to keep it on your desk, then it's not really going to change. If you're not going to be traveling with this keypad, then you really have nothing to worry about. Now, a major thing that has changed on top of the design of the keypad is the new positioning of the actual keys themselves. Like one of my favorite changes now is that they switch the command key with the quick menu key from the original. One of my favorite new features of this keypad now is that when you press the command key and the brush size key, you could decrease or increase by 1%. A major issue I had with the original design was that it was skipping like by 10%. And I'm wondering if they actually listened to me about that. Another thing you'll notice with this newer version is that they changed the mechanics of the actual keys. They're, they're now using an X type, the keys are now using an X type scissors foot the keys are now using a scissor switch kind of structure so it's much softer to the touch when you're pressing it and it's more satisfying in my opinion one of my favorite things about this keypad including the original is how long they last like i said before i charged the original keypad once when i got it months ago and i still use it every day and i haven't had to charge it since then so they last really long and now with this new keypad, it lasts 84 hours with regular use. And if it's on standby mode, it's just it's gonna last you over six months. That's great. It only needs two hours to charge and then you're ready to go from there. Another thing that they've updated with this new keypad is the Bluetooth capabilities. So if you're someone that likes to work really far, the keypad will still work with your iPad from 33 feet away. Not that you'll ever do that because you, yeah. I don't know, but it's capable. The build of the keypad is much better. They've used better plastic for it, so it's a little bit more durable than the original design. And now I feel less likely that I'm gonna break it when I toss it around. But ideally, like I said in the first video, I would love it to like have the, the aluminum of like Apple. So it kind of like meshes all together really well. I still haven't gotten around to making my own, like getting a different base with those same keys, but whatever. For what it's worth right now, it's really good. You could find a bunch of YouTube videos of everyone making their own keypads. This was before the Aoktai actually came out with these. I never got around to making my own because that seems very difficult and I just never was able to figure it out. But what's great about Aoktai now is just you don't have to make your own keypad. It comes all together in one nice package. 
They've also changed the position of the keypad on and off switch. It is now on the right side on the newer version compared to where it was on the original which was on the top. The connection goes the same way. You just hold down the top left key until you get the blinking blue lights and then you connect it like you would any other Bluetooth device. Now this keypad is solely for Procreate but doesn't mean that you can't use it with other programs. You just gotta pay in mind that the keys aren't, aren't gonna match up like they would in Procreate. I've tried using it in Photoshop, I've tried using it in Clip Studio and things just get jumbled around. So it's not as effective as it would be on the native Procreate app. Aoktai also did say that the newer version has an over the air system upgrade function so that you can reset the shortcut keys according to your needs in the future. And what's great about this when it's on standby mode, just press any key on the keypad, it'll connect right into your iPad and you're ready to go. There, you don't have to worry about any latencies or lags while you're working. It works very intuitively with the iPad and Procreate. I feel like the most important thing about being an artist is just saving time and being efficient with your painting process. And that's what this Procreate keypad does for you. Like from the original one that I've been using ever since I got it, it's just improved my painting experience and it's just been great all around. I've been working on this weekend piece ever since I got this keypad and you could see for yourself that it's just helped all around. All right guys, let me know what you think about this new keypad. I have a link in the description where you can go grab it yourself. I wanna hear your thoughts on it. I personally love this new generation, aside from, you know, the little cons that I've, I said before, but the most important thing is that it helps with the workflow and makes things so much easier and overall it just makes art more enjoyable to do. That's it for this video. I want to thank Aoktai for sending me the keypad to review. Don't forget to check out the untitled.jpg podcast where I talk to a bunch of different artists about their careers so any aspiring artist can listen in and see what they want to do. All right guys, later. Boop 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 bo